The Earth has been our home for millions of years. However, sometime soon, the Earth may no longer be our only home, and we will start to spread out, searching for new places to live. It's possible that in the near future, the Earth could become uninhabitable due to climate change or overpopulation. It would be even possible for an asteroid impact to cause a planetary catastrophe. As a result, we may need to move and create a new home in alternate, distant space colonies. There is water on Mars under the form of ice at the poles and under the surface. The recent discovery of huge amounts of water in the Moon's poles and on Mars has encouraged public institutions such as NASA and private companies as SpaceX to lead projects that will let us to settle in such distant and harsh environments. Another option might be a future settlement in an orbital space colony, or even on a nearby asteroid. In any case, it's not an easy task at all. There are many technical challenges to overcome. In the Moon, we would need to solve huge difficulties, such as the exposure to lethal cosmic radiations or the lack of atmosphere. In Mars, the difficulties are even more challenging due to the increased distance from Earth. Six to nine months, this is too long for astronauts to be exposed to zero gravity and lethal cosmic radiation. The atmosphere on Mars today is much thinner than that of Earth, and so it's not really able to protect from solar radiation. We would require habitats, storage facilities, shop workspaces, renewable energy sources, food production spaces, and equipment. The race for space colonization has already begun. Present-day technology allows us to think that a space colony might become a reality within this century. As technology has grown over the past half century, we now have much greater capabilities. Our descendants, who might live on the Moon or Mars, will remember the moment they established the first space colonies as one of the greatest milestones of humanity. Human beings have always been fascinated by that mysterious dark space outside Earth. Since the middle of the 20th century, that curiosity started to be satisfied, as advances in science and technology have allowed us to achieve milestones unimaginable in the past. The beginning of the colonization of space may be dated 1957, when the first artificial satellite, the Sputnik 1, was launched. Just four years later, in 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first human to journey into outer space and to complete an orbital flight. We have to wait eight years till 1969 to be witness to a man walking on the moon. Neil Armstrong reached that unbelievable milestone. He was the first human ever to walk on the lunar surface. However, it could be said that real space colonization that is, a permanent manned settlement off of Earth started in 1986. 
when the first component of the Mir space station was launched. The Mir was a modular space station run by the Soviet Union and later by Russia, which was assembled in orbit from 1986 to 1996. It was the first continuously inhabited long-term research space station in orbit. The mission ended in 2001 when it was finally deorbited. The Mir space station could, in a way, be considered the very first space colony. Accepting that a space colony is defined as a large group of people that lives and works in a space station or on another planet, the fact that the Mir station had a crew of fewer than 10 people, which couldn't be labeled a large group of people, means that we can't call it a real space colony. In 1998, the first component of the International Space Station was launched into orbit, which is the largest man-made object built in space to date. It has the size of a soccer field with 72 meters length and 108 meters width. Since 2000, astronauts, cosmonauts, and even space tourists from 17 different nations have continuously occupied it. Although the International Space Station is not really a space colony, yet since its crew is fewer than 10 people, it is, as of today, the structure closest to that concept. In a few decades, it may have become the first step toward future space colonies orbiting the Earth or other planets, or based on the surfaces of the Moon, Mars, or even asteroids.